Hey, what's up, my dudes? This is your boy DC2 period Vic Vic. What's going on? So, I got some banging news for you guys today. So, first ever 10 speed Integra. I know, sounds pretty wild. Like, why do you need all them gears? But, uh, let me show you where it's where I got my trans at. All right, check it out. So, we got the first one right here, right? First one, the first five right here. Got them things hooked up just right. So, I managed to somehow hook up the second transmission, which is the other five gears in the back. All right, let's check it out. All right, so here it is, right here. Hooked up, 10 gears. First ever 10-speed Integra. I'm just kidding. Not 10-speed Integra. That would be quite insane. I don't see why that would be even necessary. Yeah, you guys thought, huh? So... The rest of this video is just gonna be my, my some bloggage. I'm about to, you know, tell y'all guys what's going down. You know, updates on my build and stuff like that. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that, feel free. But uh, I got you. That's all you gotta know. I got you. So uh, anyhow, let's proceed. But you're wondering why do I have an extra transmission? Well. The transmission on this Type R swap is actually going bad for some odd reason. It's uh, so I need to check it out. So I don't have a daily. So I'd have to pretty much take out this trans. It's in. It's on this trans. It's on this motor. Take it off. Put this one that I got from the other Integra, and uh, change them all out. So what the what the transmission was doing on this one is that it was uh, well it just recently started popping out of gear like first gear like I'd be in first gear and all of a sudden I'm out of first gear but I never press clutch in so that happened and then what this morning actually the I put it in second gear you know at a, at a, at a stop sign you know just to stop and go. So I did that and all of a sudden I hear pop. I feel like I hit something or something like that. And out of nowhere, I'm not a second gear. So I look behind me, you know, make sure nothing's behind me. So just in case I didn't actually run over anything. But turns out it's just my gear. My gear jumped out and it was heart dropping. So I put it in reverse just to make sure to see if the gears are working. And reverse work so i was like all right cool so i put it in reverse and then put it in first everything worked out you know went to work so that was okay so it it has this like it works and it doesn't work it's weird because it, i guess maybe the clutch is slipping i'm not sure to be honest but uh that's why this extra transmission is in my back trunk so soon hopefully we'll exchange these possibly rebuild that one or we're going to end up buying a new one for this one or actually it's going to be for the other motor for the JDM Integra because I like this one since this one has the LS 5th gear and this will be my daily this will be my daily for a while so you know you save a little bit of gas with the 5th gear you know being at low RPMs makes a huge difference with this Type R's Trans it's like I feel like I want to take off every single time like in fifth or whatever it's just the RPMs are up there so you know that's gonna happen and then I got a lot more in store for you guys so shoot stay tuned for it uh, as you can tell it's one thing after another first I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all we can rewind what happened before my car literally got ran over so we're going to run to the side over here check it out so here it kind of cracked the bumper and stuff uh it's uh pretty much just got on started right here you can tell his tire started right here ended up going right up here and right on the support beam which is right under this he managed to get his tire on 
So it put the whole weight on the car. And it didn't do too much damage. All it really did is just chip the bumper, the front bumper, and then the side. Kind of see that little crack right there. Got that. And then it did bend that little frame bar right there. Well, piece of metal that's that's connected to the fender. It did bend that. And then that's about it on what happened for the for the from that truck running over me and uh shoot i'm about to put the video on so you guys can see that real quick so here we go So you saw the video where the guy ran over my car. So as you can tell, he, he literally just went on the side of it right there. And the whole front end went forward. And that put a lot of pressure on it. And hopefully that didn't like damage any crazy other stuff. Like any bushings or anything. But I don't think it did. I think it's perfectly fine. And uh, shoot, we'll be probably replacing that soon. And uh, checking out what's what else is wrong with it. But uh, it's hard having two cars because you have one that needs stuff and the other one also needs stuff. So don't think just because you have two cars, it's like, you know, you're balling and stuff. But honestly, that crap kind of sucks because you're just like torn in between both since you're like balling on a budget. And your boy is not balling at all. I'm on a budget and I work hard and I'm still broke. But cars are life and i'm trying to make this thing happen so uh stay tuned for whatever's to come and i appreciate appreciate you i got you guys watching and uh i shoot follow my instagram at dc2 period vic vic and uh keep in touch and uh stay tuned for whatever's next harder and harder my dudes just pushing that bad boy out putting it up gotta put it somewhere safe What's up, my dudes? So, I want to talk about what else is going on, you know, with the build and stuff. You know, it's kind of hard to, you know, make videos and stuff like that for my YouTube. You know, I'm over here just, you know, working two jobs and such like that, you know, but no excuses. So, I'm going to run it up, try to do my best, you know, do some good content for this YouTube. And uh, hopefully grow on it and uh, shoot. So, what's going on is uh, I just got my transmission uh, changed out by uh, my friend Taylor Heath. So now I got the transmission from the other one The Fred Integra. So I got that transmission in now and uh, That one's a little bit Definitely in better shape than the other one because the other one's grinding gears and stuff like that So it's popping out of gear. It's getting bad. So hopefully Rebuilding it will be the best choice. Hopefully if it's not too expensive, that'll be the run but uh for right now, I'm going to run this transmission. It's got an LS fifth gear, so longer gear. So that means when I'm traveling and stuff like that or going wherever I'm going, I, I waste less gas. So I'm gas saving right now with this bad boy on it. And uh, the inner and outer tie rods were also changed. That was much needed because uh, the steering wheel was, the steering and everything was shaking and the metal was just it's bad it was just ready to go so that's changed out so now i gotta get an alignment and i also got my what is it my left axle changed the boot was busted so that's changed on this on the supersonic blue integra so on the red integra though the jdm one that one is shortly on its way hopefully 
if the money allows it because uh this is an expensive build as is and i'm not even going all out it's it's not like some people do you know this crazy detailed stuff that's later on when i get the bills you know and things start working out but for now simple enough clean build nothing too crazy good paint job and uh shoot it just recently got painted actually which i posted on my instagram if you're trying to follow that it's uh dc2 period big big and uh you can check out all the pictures and stuff that i have on there i'm trying to grow that as well so please support me and i uh, appreciate for you guys support and uh thank you guys but uh shoot that one is recently painted so i'm gonna get him to kind of buff the uh the lights as well and uh i think that's about it but once it's done hopefully i'll uh get it back to uh atlanta powerhouse performance so they can drop the motor in but my other problem is now that i have to either find another transmission or figure out if the transmission that i took out of this blue that my friend took out of this blue one is even repairable if it's repairable and if it's not costly, I'm going to run with it. Because it's, it's got it's got the Type R internals and such like that. So that will be a great run with that. So uh, hopefully that could happen. And uh, shoot, I think that is all to be honest. Uh, and I appreciate you guys' patience. Uh, shoot, for all of my 35 subscribers as of now. And uh, hopefully I keep growing. And I uh, appreciate if you guys will share this or share any of my videos. That'll really help me out, and uh, thank you for your support, and uh, shoot, stay tuned for what's to come, I uh, think there's a, there's a, what you call it, import showdown that hopefully I'll be going to, bunch of drag, a bunch of drag, uh, dragging going on, so there's gonna be, shoot, heck of crazy cars with mad horsepower, you know, just dragging it down the, sh down the strip, and uh, hopefully that turns out good. And uh, shoot, just stay tuned for it. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, we'll see you guys on the flip.